In this video, I will demonstrate how to use and capture and import data from YouTube, Facebook and Twitter on Envivo 12 Windows. Importing web-based data to Envivo using and capture is a two-step process. Uh, in the first step, we capture data from websites, YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter, etc. And in the second step, then we import that data uh, from our download folder to Envivo project. Please note that we have captured website data and imported it to Envivo project in a different video. So um, check that one as well. According to the official QSR International page regarding Envivo 12 windows, and capture captures most of the web pages as PDFs, but not all, but some pages from Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as data set. So keep this in mind while you are um, capturing different files from websites or um, web data. So let's try to capture data from multiple sources. We would first look at capturing YouTube videos and then importing it into our NVivo project. So let's go to extensions, the sign, and then we can see the sign of NCAPTURE is here. We can also pin it by uh, bringing it up. But let's click on NCAPTURE. We can see there are three forms in which we can capture this video. One is video only, and the second is uh, video and comments, and the third is web page as PDF. Um, this thing stay the same. The name is automatically written for us by default. Description and code at loads name uh, could be typed in. Similarly, memo name could be typed in and where we want to uh, code it. And at the end, we can just click on capture. So I have, uh, so once we capture, uh, it takes a bit of time to download. Um, I have captured the web page as PDF one. We want, if we want to see the progress of that page, we can just simply go to that page and uh, without even clicking on anything, we just go to show capture. Um, so here are the captures. This is the last capture which I did, which was this video conductive re reflective <clears throat> reflexive thematic analysis video from YouTube, uh, which we can see that the status now is complete. <coughs> so um, now let's see uh, how to import this into um, into the file into Envivo. So if we go to Envivo and click on import and then click on NCAPTURE, uh, we can browse the file. So let's browse it. So when we selected uh, download buttons from this PC um, uh, and clicked OK, um, we can see that the capture went all there. So when clicked on this and I can see that the item is going and here you go all uh, captures not previously imported uh, came here. Now I would select on import which means that all this data uh, would Im be imported to my computer, um, my project. So let's say import. This progress is 0%. It might take time.
Okay, so now we can see that the data which uh, we captured using NCAPTURE was stored under the download button. If we go back to the second one, uh, this is conducting reflexive thematic analysis of uh, using a vivo a YouTube video, which we have downloaded. In the past, we can see that uh, there is not a lot of information. Once you uh, import your video file from your download folder, I would recommend that you look under Files tab, which is under Data. Um, you would find some files over there. Then if you look at the code section, you will find a node. The name of the node would be the video, the name of the video or maybe NCAPTURE, which you have given. Um, and then you will go to the file classification and you will find some information under file classification. So explore and enjoy. In the next section, we will look at how to capture Facebook and Twitter data and how to import it to our NVivo project. We click on including retweets. So let's say and capture video three. <laughs> And then two video three Twitter. And let's capture it. Authorize app. Okay, so it would um, download. Let's try a different and capture as well. So if I try as tweets as data set including uh, excluding retweets uh, retweets so again let's try twitter two and then do it two and then this is so so let's capture this as well uh, and see what happens and let's go to and capture again and capture it as a web page and call it uh, Twitter. Three and Twitter three. Oops, not video. It's Uh, let's see how the status is um, going so we can okay so we can see that some of this is complete okay let's do some more so uh, this is about twitter let's go to facebook one so this is a facebook international students in Manchester but it's a private group so it might uh, give a problem so it's a private group so it might not allow us to do the job let's try uh, the process is the same so we'd go to extensions and capture and not active so if we create as article uh, it would look like this still we can try it let's see facebook and capture 
Facebook. And then in capture Facebook. And let's capture it. Okay, so if we go now to our Alviva project, uh, let's say Margaret, and let's try to now import those files. So I would go to import and I would go to end capture and I would browse the files and in the download file, let's see whatever is there. We would say captures, all captures not pre previously imported. So I would OK it and now I can import it. So I can see there are a few new captures which came up. So these are the ones which, which we already imported. Now we are importing uh, some YouTube video. And this is a Twitter data. And this is a Facebook data. So we have all these three data. Let's import it. Now it will take some time. So here we can see. Okay. So if we go back to the files area so here we have uh, uncaptured twitter university of Manchester. so this is the twitter one just to keep a note that uncapture would not work on internet explorer um, to capture data from twitter and facebook in terms of uncapture with google chrome um, it works mostly if i am using the PDF of an article only option. Otherwise, it might sometime take longer or not work at all. So um, have a play around and explore um, how you go with it. This is the end of using Uncapture to import data from YouTube, Facebook and Twitter on an Vivo 12 Windows.